Welcome to Stone Watch. This is my movie review for DC's Blue Beetle. And if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify for future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, after checking out DC's Blue Beetle in the theater's opening weekend, I gotta say, this movie was pretty damn good. Now, I didn't know anything about the background story to the character Blue Beetle going into this at all, and I did no research into it whatsoever. I figured I'll just see it when they present it on the screen and go from there. And I gotta say, I was entertained from beginning to end. I had a great time with this movie. I think that director Soto, sorry if I butcher your name, I thought he did a fantastic job on this thing. I mean, but I don't know anything else he's directed, so I have nothing to compare it to except for other comic book movies. But that being said, I thought he did a pretty damn good job with this movie. And like, one of the things I really, really liked about this movie is the ongoing theme. There was no multiverse. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think there was a couple references to Superman and Flash in this movie movie i think they were that's what he was trying to talk about i'm not really sure but other than that this movie was pretty much self-contained i mean it was like wherever the in palmary city wherever that is i have no idea where the hell that's at but that's pretty much where this thing all takes place and it pretty much stays right there you know what I'm saying? Even though it's like the Blue Beetle thing is supposed to be from outer space and he goes into space like once just because he puts the suits on, the suits got to test that for some strange reason. But other than that, he never leaves the city. He just pretty much stays right in this area. I thought this movie was pretty damn awesome. Now we had a runtime of 127 minutes. That's a little over two hours. And I thought the pacing in this thing was pretty damn good. I mean, we get right into the story right from the, the beginning. I mean, the bad guys are getting the MacGuffin up that's going to be for the rest of this movie. And it, it, it wastes no time and then right after that we meet our hero you know so i thought that was pretty good i thought sholo did an awesome job in this movie again only knowing him from cobra kai i really don't have anything else to compare his acting to other than this movie and that show but for the most part i thought he did a pretty damn good job i mean and i don't know how close he was to the character from the comics because i didn't check yet i mean i, I probably will because i'm pretty sure there'll be some breakdown videos and stuff like that the rest of this week that i'll be checking out and what have you but i figure i would do my review first before i do so lopez was awesome in this thing i mean he was hilarious and he had a bigger role than i thought he would to be quite honest i mean i thought he was gonna be in this quite a bit and i thought he was gonna be the dad but turns out he was he is the crazy conspiracy theorist uncle and what have you so i and he was like quite involved in this story i mean he was kind of like almost like like alfred to like the batman type stuff like he knew how to invent stuff he knew how to like to run the the bug ship and stuff like that like right away with no, no training whatsoever i'm like okay everybody just start flicking switches and we'll just see what happens however this movie is awesome and i highly recommend blue beetle is a 2023 superhero film based on the dc comics character jaime reyes aka blue beetle produced by dc studios and the saffron company and distributed by warner brother pictures directed by angel manuel soto and written by gareth donna El Coser and is the 15th installment of the DC Extended Universe. Development of the film featuring Reyes began at the end of November of 2018 with Donna El Coser attached. Soto was hired to direct the film in February of 2021 for the streaming service HBO Max. Mari Jr. was cast that August and the film was changed to have a theatrical release in December. The rest of the cast joined in early 2022 before filming took place in late May to mid-July at Wilder Studios in Decanter, Georgia as well as in El Paso, Texas and Puerto Rico. Blue Beetle premiered in El Paso, Texas on August 15th of 2023 and was released in the United States on August 18th of 2023 by Warner Brother Pictures. The film has received generally positive reviews from the critics and fans who praise Mary Dueña's performance. Starring in this movie, Sholo Mary Dueña, Bruna Marquezine, Adriana Barraza, Damian Alcazar, Alpedia Carrillo, Belisa Escobedo, Raul Max Trujillo, Susan Sarandon, and George Lopez, just to name a few. Coming out of opening weekend, Blue Beetle is hit with a Rotten Tomatoes score of 76%, with 185 top critics reporting in. So a little over three quarters of those top critics are liking this movie. Now the general consensus of the critics is this. Led by Sholo Maraduena's magnetic performance in the title role, Blue Beetle is a refreshing, family-focused superhero movie with plenty of humor and heart. Now I have to agree with that like 100%. I love the family dynamic that was in this movie. Kind of felt like a little bit of Miss Marvel just like a little bit but and more so because like the family was involved through the whole thing and that little bit with grandma taking over like the gatling gun and stuff like that in the trailer i thought that was hilarious i mean i saw some people bitching about that i'm going
and I think that's hilarious. And they just leaned right into that way more in this movie. I almost kind of wanted a little bit more of a background story on Grandma and see how does she have all these skills. Maybe. Who knows? But I have to say I agree with that consensus 100%. Over on the audience side, Blue Beetle is sitting with a 92% with a thousand plus fans telling you what they think. So the fans are loving this movie a little bit more so than the critics. And the box office is kind of reflecting on that. Now Blue Beetle does manage to knock Barbie out of the number one spot for the weekend, but these are just the estimates. Just the estimates. And after the dust settles, there is a slight chance that Barbie might be able to take back the number one because there is only a $4 million difference between the two. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes when we get the final numbers for the weekend, which is usually around Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning. We'll have to wait and see. However, for right now, Bull Beetle is number one at the box office for the weekend, which I think is pretty damn awesome. Now, with a budget of $104 million and its estimated domestic box office for the weekend of $25.4 million and its estimated international box office of $18 million, which brings this to a total of $43.4 million for the weekend, which is not all that great, but it's not all that bad because it's almost its production budget. Now, I don't know what the marketing budget was for this because without the stars actually doing any promotion for this, I don't know how that really affects the, the marketing budget on that if it makes it more or less because that's pretty much all they had to rely on was just like commercials and tv spots and everything else or interviews that the stars did before the strike took effect because they're not doing any promotion for this movie right now anything you see online with the stars talking about this movie that was all filmed be before the strike so which again i do support the strike 100 percent. i think they should get paid what they deserve them and the writers how that actually is going to work i have no idea but that's a topic for a whole nother video however blue beetle is actually doing pretty good for its opening weekend now we'll have to wait and see how this thing performs in week two to see whether or not it has any legs see what it did there and see if, if it does any better than flash does because flash did not break over over 200 million dollars i'm hoping it at least does better than flash now i'm not really sure offhand where i rank this movie with all the other dceu movies that we've seen and now we only have one of those left we got aquaman that's scheduled to come out later on this year if they don't push it back due to the strike i think that's like kind of up in the air but for the most part it's supposed to be releasing later on this year and that is the last of the dc eu that we will get it's it it's no more so as far as that goes that's like 15 films and now i count the snyder cut as a separate film now i know that justice league done by josh whedon was pretty much like the same movie but he did he had some other parts that's not in the snyder cut because he got rid of all the stuff that whedon did so as far as i'm concerned even though it's kind of like the same movie to me it feels like a different movie so i count it as a separate movie so that's why in the info section of the video i add on the snyder cut as a part of the dceu because to me it's, it's it feels like a different movie Definitely Definitely a lot longer than the Whedon cut, you know what I'm saying? So, but that's just me. However, I don't know where I would rank Blue Beetle with all those other movies. I mean, I did like this movie quite a bit. I mean, it's not the best comic book movie I've ever seen, but I did like this one. I mean, as far as like, I don't know, Susan Sarandon is a pretty damn good actress, at least as far as like some of the other movies I've seen her in over the years I've liked. So, but her villain character in this thing, like you kind of saw it from like a mile away. Now, again, I don't know whether or not if she, her character is actually from the comics and how close she was to that character. Maybe she was trying to be that character that was in the comics. I didn't check. I have no idea. So maybe that's the case. And I don't even know if the, the Carl Pax dude, if his character is from the comics. I mean, at first he seemed like he was kind of like the vader S type character. And then you come to find out later on in the movie that, you know, he was only doing what he was doing because she tricked him. I mean, he unluckily stepped on a landmine and she like tricked him into getting all those other extra mechanical parts added on and stuff like that you know so and then when she took his necklace thing i mean i knew that was a bad thing so i knew like oh that's not good and then you know for the most part whether they were good villains or bad villains they killed them you know spoilers they killed themselves at the end of the movie anyway or he kills them at the end of the movie so they're not going to be even around anymore so but then again unless this movie makes a lot of money which i don't know if it will or not that'll be the determination of whether or not we actually see this version of blue beetle later on down when james gunn launches his DCU movies with Superman Legacy in 2025, but I don't know, Manny. However, I mean, I did like this movie, but I thought the villains were kind of like, eh, you know, 
No, Blue Beetle did actually have two credit scenes in this movie. One was at the mid credit scenes, which actually kind of sets up like a possible sequel, which was cool to watch. But at the same time, I'm like watching this. I'm like, this is almost kind of like a waste because we already know that they are not going to continue this on into the DCU with James Gunn and Peter Saffron, unless this movie makes a whole lot of money. I mean, James Gunn did say that Blue Beetle was going to be a character in the DCU, but it was nothing saying it was going to be Sholo playing that part, or any of these other characters that are in this movie are going to be in the DCU going further on down the road. I mean, the credit scene was cool. Sets up a really cool sequel plot point, but I don't know if we're ever going to see it. The credit scene at the very end, I think there was a reference to another Mexican superhero. I don't really know the character at all. I do know that they say they do reference him in the movie at least a couple times because I saw the cast do an interview and they said that they do reference that character in this movie and I think he's also in the credit scene which was kind of cool but I don't know nothing about the character so I didn't have any anything attached to it but the mid credit scene was actually pretty damn cool well enough we actually see that payoff later on down the road uh who knows so at the end of the day, I like this movie. I had a lot of fun with this movie. I'd like to see this cast come back and do another movie. Whether or not if it, this movie will end up being canon in the DCU, who knows? I mean, it's so confusing with that right now because like the Superman movie is supposed to be the first movie, but there's supposed to be two shows coming out on HBO Max before the movie. So where the hell does your universe start at? That's a topic for a whole other video. However, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I wish I could see more of this cast because it was awesome. I want to see more. Who knows if we will. So did you get a chance to go check out DC's Blue Beetle in theaters? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? You think this movie was any good? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I wish we get to see more of it because this was good. Who knows if we will, right? So let me know what you think in the comments down below.